another curbside find. Don't really need a stoplight, but this will look cool in the garage. <laughs> friends and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. Today we're gonna to work on this stoplight. I found this uh, on a curbside find the other day when I went to pick up some some dinner at the VFW. I got this in a little tricycle which I made another video for and uh, I looked at it and I walked away from it and then I looked at it again and I decided I'd pick it up. No reason to have a stoplight, <laughs> but I couldn't pass it up. I thought it was kind of some cheap junk, but this is a this is a metal stoplight, and uh, I guess it's like an official stoplight. I thought it was maybe one of those party things that you buy, but this is the real deal. And uh, I figured, well, these lenses and stuff probably available, and I could figure out how to wire this thing up. And uh, as I was moving it cord popped out of here oh, yeah. and it's already been wired uh, I have to open these up and see I see there's no bulb in that one and that one's got broken glass so I'll open it up here and maybe I'll just grab some light bulbs because it looks like it's just set up for standard like uh, screw in incandescent bulbs so that'll be the first thing that we do before we do anything with this is uh, make sure that it operates and then I think I'm gonna sand it down a little bit maybe and paint it. I'm trying to decide if I should paint it black or yellow. So I'm going to look at a couple of pictures online. I think yellow would look pretty good. And um, we'll go from there. Let me get some bulbs and we'll plug it in and test it. I've never messed with one of these before at all, but uh, a pretty simple looking deal. Got a little wing nut here and open up on a hinge. And uh, it looks like Looks like the lens is supposed to mount into this uh, front cover, and this one isn't. And we got some kind of a, I don't know what kind of bulb that is. But this uh, this top one, the red, it's uh, dropped down in here. Kind of funny. And looking at these, they've got a spring on the top there, and this one's missing that, so I'm going to have to figure out some sort of a spring for that. But... Uh, I have to figure out what kind of bulbs are going to work best. I've got some 60 watt something here. Who knows if those are going to work good or not. Put them in there. Oh, just kidding. Okay, all three of them light up. Um, this has been sitting here at my house for a couple days. And uh, I've actually done a little research before the video. I know it's hard to believe that you can just do stuff and you don't know about it on the video. But I've decided that I'm going to purchase a sequencer. Or a controller so the lights will go you know red yellow green red yellow green or whatever uh, type of uh, sequence you'd like so now that I know that this works I can get that on order and now we can start figuring out the rest of this thing something that I've already done as well is I've looked at these um, lenses. Now this one here is a glass lens and uh, the glass lenses are pretty nice but they're also pretty expensive. They're about 30 or 40 bucks each. Now this thing is cool and I'm willing to spend a little bit of money on it but since it's something I don't really need I have located some plastic lenses and these were five dollars each. So I'm going to install these and then um, let's see if we can get that one put into the, the face here, the uh, little cover. And then we'll see how it looks. 
I have to decide what kind of light bulbs I'm going to use as well. I don't know if these 60 watts will work or if this is the kind I Well, that one, obviously, it looks like it's going to be too high when that's lifted up, but we will see. Well, the plastic lenses aren't quite exactly the right ones, but they fit. And uh, heck, right now it looks pretty good. Honestly, I could probably quit right here and just throw it up on the wall. It'd be pretty cool. But let's, uh, let's plug it in and see what it looks like. Not too bad. I think that those um, appliance style bulbs look a little bit better than that, that one. I think it's too close to the lens and it's all concentrated. You know, these are putting out all around, so it's kind of hitting the reflectors. And I'm sure if I clean the reflectors, it'll look even better. So I think the next thing to do is to try to figure out, let me unplug this because it's going to just put glare on the camera. This is how you do this. Don't do it that way. Um, I also, while I was installing these, I took those, those some screws that were around here and I wasn't sure what that was for, but then I seen there was a little couple pieces of broken off plastic and, you know, if you look at a traffic light, they've got those little um, shade things, hood or whatever over the top of them. So I might look at seeing if those are reasonably priced. I don't know how this will look with or without them. I mean, it looks pretty cool without them. But, uh, and I also need to make some, make some clips to hold these in. Cause these, uh, let me slide over here. They're just little pieces of uh, like sheet metal or something that goes into a little split on this rubber. There's only two on that one, and there was two on another one, and one of them had four, so I can make a couple of them. If you look at uh, this one, it has a little different ones as well. That one actually seems to fit better. And this one's kind of sloppy because it's uh, too, too small just slightly too small i can see it had some sealant on it i don't know these were probably put in a whole different application but i could maybe do that put a little bit of silicone sealant in there but i'm wondering if this one is pushed down like this i took that spring or whatever that was up here off because of this silly bulb because if you put this all the way up this bulb is not going to fit in here so, I'll take a look in there. No, I don't see the spring. I was hoping it was kind of be, going to be in there. Oh, I should have looked at this before I plugged it in. That's kind of dangerous. <laughs> but uh, we're going to be rewiring this whole thing once the uh, controller or sequencer or whatever comes in. I'm going to take a look at my um, junk drawers around here and see if I can find a spring similar to... To that. Put my foot on there. To that one there. These. There you go. Look, it actually kind of hinges out of there. That's kind of cool. So I guess that's what that spring is all about. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of, whole bunch of cord in there. I was kind of hoping the, the spring was going to pop up and be in here somewhere. I don't see it. All right, let me see if I can find a spring like that. God, that looks bad. <laughs> we'll see what we can come up with. All right, if you uh, work in a garage, in your garage, or you know, mess around, whatever, you probably have one of these, or a couple of these, full of nuts and bolts and washers and springs and just stuff. And I went through there and I couldn't find a spring that would work for this, but. Uh, I got to thinking what kind of a spring would work for that. And uh, then I figured it out and I located this one. So the first person who comments and knows what kind of spring this is, I'll give you a free uh, year subscription to Mad Magazine. But we'll get that installed. I already swapped over the spring from the middle to the top just to make sure that that top one worked. And it actually did not work initially because this... Uh, this pin was on this one. <clears throat> it's just a little too short. So I had to get it 
driven down in there a little bit farther. But now that one works. We'll put that on here. We'll assemble this and then once I'm satisfied with that, I think we'll start stripping this all down and I think I will paint it yellow just because uh, it's gonna just be a little bit brighter look for the garage. One last view before we disassemble it all here. Of course, I only got two bulbs in. The uh, red one looks a lot better with the regular bulb. So that's what we're gonna go with. Okay, it's taken apart. We're uh, ready to start sanding it. I'm just gonna kinda feather out some of these edges because um, it's gonna be hanging on the wall. Not really gonna see too much of it, but I did even take out the innards here and there's a gasket around here. I took that out as well. So, I mean, we're gonna make it look okay. I'm not gonna worry too much about making it perfect. Got her all sanded down. I didn't sand anything on the inside here because I'm just gonna fog that. In fact, I'm likely gonna tape just inside of this, this perimeter here and leave that with that green inside of there. Because I only bought one can of spray paint. I want to make sure I have enough coverage, but I am going to paint out here and all of this. Let's see, I remove the seals there just so it looks a little bit nicer. But uh, I think I'll just leave that that color. You can see I've sanded there, sanded the sides as well, sanded the back a little bit. So I purchased Sunburst Yellow. There actually is a traffic yellow. I can't remember. There's a designator for it and everything, but they did not have it. But the uh, Dome Hippo. So sunburst is what we're getting. Okay, getting some yellow on there. Not sure if I'm going to be happy with this color of yellow, but that's what it is for now. So uh, it is pretty easy to take this thing apart. If I decide that I need to repaint it, that's what we'll do. But this is where we're going to be. Next step, uh, reassembly. Well, here we are uh, assembled in yellow and wired. Plug it in here. Take a look at it. It looks pretty good. Now, uh, just waiting on the uh, controller or sequencer or whatever they call it to show up, but I think it's going to look pretty good. Got to decide how we're going to mount it. Um, I was looking online. You can buy these elbow things that just kind of go into here and they're like a 90 degree elbow and they come out and they have a plate on them, one for the top and one for the bottom. Um, and they're not too terribly expensive. I think they were like 25 or 40, right around there, 20 or 40 bucks, something like that. I can't remember, it was $20 each, $40 for the pair. Anyway, I don't know as if I'm going to use that or not. I really don't want to drill through the back of it, otherwise I could just drill a hole through the back and then just put it into a board or something on the wall. So we'll think about that for a minute, how we want to mount it. Um, because it's going to be a couple days before the uh, controller shows up. Thank you to the U.S. Postal Service. Delivered the uh, controller here for the light. And it looks pretty easy to wire up. I mean, they have directions, but even without those, it's pretty hard to mess it up. Get your line in here so you're neutral and you're hot and then it says right here green yellow red green yellow red and i joined them all together right here underneath the middle so there we go and i also have a uh, this is the cord that was on it when i got it i've got another cord i have laying around here that has a on and off switch. So I'll probably wire that one in. So it'll be as simple as, uh, well, I guess I gotta cut that weird fitting off the end of it and then wire that into here. And then these are just, uh, unscrew these, push the wire in down here. 
and then tighten that screw down. So I'm gonna get that all installed down in here and we'll see how she looks. After a little bit of messing around, I found a place where I like to have this thing mounted here up against this side. And I had it, initially it was starting to wire it in the middle, but went here on the bottom. I hooked up this cord and I put a little um, clamp there so that it won't pull out. There we go. Power on. Red light, green light. Now you can set up a delay on these, but I've got it going for this long. It's a little adjustment on here. There's a little screw. And it seemed like it went from this, what is it got about two seconds? The yellow, 1,001, 1,000, yeah. The yellow seems to stay on a little bit longer. But it went from this to about 30 seconds. So I don't know what's better, but I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna hang it up and we'll get a nice little video of it to show you what it looks like hanging up. Before I get it up on display, I'm going to show you my um, semi-ghetto um, wall hanging system I created here. So it's just a block of wood that I cut to fit inside here on the top. And then I screwed this big eyelet in here and this piece of uh, cheap chain. So we'll get her hung up and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, that's not the final location of it, but it was the first easy location I had, so... That's where it's gonna be for right now. I figured um, I've got this French cleat up here, which I had used previously to hang a TV up there, which I took down. So I just kind of hung it off of that. There's a little bolt mount there and I just pushed that over, no big deal. Um, this is not an ideal mounting system up here, but we'll figure that out later. I saw that the official ones are about $100. So maybe we'll figure out an easier way to make something. And I'd really like it about right there. That Paps Blue Ribbon sign is in the way. So that just might get relocated and I can mount it up there somewhere. But for now, that's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with it. Considering that I had no intentions of getting a stoplight for my garage. <laughs> but sometimes you run into stuff and you create your own destiny, so hey, it looks really cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it for sure, but I'll enjoy it for now. Uh, maybe it'll go to a family member or a friend, we'll see. Um, but cool, I had a lot of fun fixing it up. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed watching it turn around from trash to treasure. Uh, one of my favorite things to do, pick things up that have been discarded and make them into something cool. All right, well, if you're digging what I'm putting out, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and if you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.